beautiful people welcome back to yet another video in today's video we are going to go over some great opportunities i do have for you we will be going over about five six maybe even seven different roles so make sure you stay tuned for all of the roles to see which one would be a better fit for you and for what you're looking for currently now as we get into these roles on the second day of this beautiful new week okay i want you guys to make sure you apply yourself and go apply for the rules that align with you once you're done watching the video we are going to go over tier level roles which means some of the opportunities will require more experience and or more education to obtain that specific role but we will be going over some entry level roles as well so definitely make sure you stay tuned to see which roles better align with you and you can pick and choose based on the many opportunities that I do have for you today. The very first one we're going to get into is through Nationwide Insurance Company. They are a premier insurance company nationally known, and they do provide a whole lot of different types of insurance products from car insurance to homeowners insurance to even some life insurance products. So they are a really big, really premier and really well-known company. They do have a staple within the insurance industry. Okay, let's get over into this very first role that I do have for you with this Fortune 500 company. This role is the Alternative Ventures Reassurance Placement Specialist. Okay, here is the job ID. And as you see here, you can be remote anywhere that you're sitting within the United States. Getting down into more of what you will be doing. And I just wanted to let you know, I will be touching on several different things within the job description, but I did want to make sure that you are able to see all of the jobs on this video okay so for this role some of the key things that you will be doing is you'll be drafting and rooting low complexity reassurance contracts or amendments and you'll be routing those to leaders and business partners for signatures so that they can be finalized you'll be creating and monitoring renewal based on a calendar or diary way of scheduling things and that's basically just making sure when policies are up for renewal that you have them specifically on your calendar to make sure that ahead of time you are reaching out to who you need to reach out to to make sure that they need to sign or if you have to give them an updated invoice amount for what the insurance is going to be for the next billing period you can do that and get everything signed if you need to get anything signed for that renewal to go through smoothly they also have here that you will be ensuring contract compliance is correctly implemented and you'll also be gathering information to support the renewal that is needed. You'll also do some maintaining of metrics within their dashboard and you'll also be tracking the team progress, okay? Getting down into some of the skills that they're looking for from you is just general knowledge of basic insurance concepts like reinsurance concepts, terms, and processes. You're also going to need very strong verbal and written communication skills, also being really strong with attention to detail being able to organize and prioritize and multitask really well also being very personable and being able to collaborate with others across multiple different areas within the company is also good if you do have great project management skills that's also something to bring to the table and process improvement okay some of the technical tools and automation tools that you will be using is microsoft like your excel your word your outlook those kinds of things power bi power apps or anything similar to that okay now you'll be reporting to the manager director or senior director they do get into some other things that you will be doing far as in your day-to-day -day. now the minimum requirements for this specific role is having an undergraduate studies and business administration finance accounting or a related field is preferred so it's a plus to have it you don't necessarily necessarily needed if you do have a vast understanding of insurance products and services and how the insurance industry works but if you do have it it is a plus now do not fret if you don't have that higher education background we will be going over other roles that do not require any type of college or higher education y'all know I got y'all no matter where you are in your career goals and where you are trying to get to currently okay I got you no matter what so definitely stay tuned for other roles.
nose. Now they also do have here that you will need to be able to attain some other insurance designations and they do have that here. If you do have it, it's a plus, but you may also have to get them once you get the actual role. Now they are looking for experience, at least six years of experience in risk management, property and casualty insurance, underwriting, or if you do have property casualty claims or accounting experience, okay? Some of the knowledge background that they're looking for is being knowledgeable in risk management, insurance policies and practices. You must also be able to understand property casualty life insurance, accidental and health insurance coverages, okay? And just having a vast understanding of what they do, what those products do, how they're used, who uses them, what they can be used for, what are the different benefits of different ones. That's what they're looking for. If you also do have various insurance or reinsurance related accounting and financial practices, concepts and techniques, that's also great. And if you have a general knowledge of legal, actuary, financial sales, underwriting and claim policies, that's also great. All right. Now getting down more into the nitty gritty and just getting you acclimated with the salary for this specific role, the national salary range for this role is anywhere between $66,000 up to $139,000 annually. Now, if you're just starting out and you don't have a whole lot of experience, the starting salary is $74,000 up to $112,000. Now, if you do have the experience, as always, go in and negotiate yourself and negotiate your rate. Make sure your resume aligns with the descriptions that they do have within the job posting using those great keywords. And make sure you go in confidently and you do negotiate yourself so you can be at that higher, higher rate. In addition to that, you can also negotiate additional benefits like more paid time off, better benefits, a higher tier of benefits. Having a company support you more for your 401k than they do other employees, like matching you maybe five, six, seven percent if they only match other employees three percent. Everything with these jobs, remember, is negotiated. Okay. Jobs in general, they have a budgeted amount that they do put on job titles and descriptions when they put these job postings out. But let me be the one to tell you, coming from human resources, that these specific jobs, I'm telling you, all companies have a budgeted amount and then an amount that they put on their job postings. The budgeted amount is always higher. Okay. So just be clear if this, for an example, has 139, they may have actually budgeted this role for $175,000 annually. So there is always ways for wiggle room when it comes to negotiating yourself and negotiating the rate of pay that you want and you're looking for. So always go in confidently, know what you're talking about and get the pay that you're looking for. All right. Now, once again, if you are interested in this role, this is the Alternative Ventures Reassurance Placement Specialist role with Nationwide. Get over and apply for this role if you're interested and you do have that experience and background in insurance. Now, getting over into the very next role that I do have for you, this is the Workers' Compensation Claim Specialist number two role with Nationwide. It is a full-time remote role. Here is the job ID. And as you can see, you can be sitting anywhere in the United States, okay? Now, getting down into what they are looking for, the ideal candidate will have three to five years of workers' compensation or work loss claims experience, okay? You'll also have really great customer service expertise. You'll be able to also juggle multiple tasks and prioritize them really well simultaneously. You'll have really great written and verbal communication skills and really be able to put nationwide values at the forefront in your everyday work, okay? Getting more into kind of what you'll be doing on a day-to-day. -day. You'll be providing appropriate notices to policyholders and insured employees according to the state workers' compensation statute. So some of this might be if somebody gets injured, every single state is different, but they do have paperwork that you have to send out when you get a claim for workers' compensation that notifies the employee that got injured what the workers' compensation law is. And by you guys being an insurance company, right, and a representative for the insurance company, what the policy will have to uphold. It may ask for information. So just understanding and having that understanding of what is needed based on a state-specific realm for workers' compensation benefits. You'll also be working 
working with the legal team on any type of litigation claims. You'll also be managing claims on a day-to-day -day and managing people's medical treatment based on their injuries, okay? So some of that might be you have to call and get them scheduled for an independent medical exam. And those are exams that basically a medical doctor will examine the employee and let everyone know, including the employee, you as the insurance company and the employer, they will let them know whether or not the person has met their medical improvement based on how their health was before the accident. So you'll be doing some of that. You'll be referring out different employees for rehabilitation services like physical therapy, occupational therapy. You'll also be doing some utilization review. So these are all terms used within the medical realm and the healthcare realm, specifically within the claims realm of things, okay? You'll be investigating as well any third-party recoveries. So if an employee slips and falls and they are in a building, like a commercial building, the third party might be that commercial building. It might be the janitorial company that did not clean up the spill. It could be a whole bunch of different things, but some of your actual job duties will be to understand what happened so that you can also see if there is any third party that you need to add into the claim that Nationwide can recover from due to maybe their negligence or them being a participant in why the spill was there or something of that nature. You'll also be managing litigation claims. So you'll be working with legal counsel on any litigation claims and providing them what they need, following up, making sure that they have all that they need to represent the client and Nationwide appropriately within court. You'll also be doing some status updates. You'll be partnering with their special investigation unit as well and the subrogation unit to one, detect fraud, and then also with subrogation to actually get any funds back from third party people that have been added into the claim. Now, getting down into who you will be reporting to, you'll be reporting to the supervisor or manager of workers' compensation claims. You will not have any direct or indirect reports directly to you. What they're looking for educational-wise is having undergrad studies in business administration or related field is performed preferred and or have an experience within workers' compensation. So they do want you to have prior experience in or understanding how workers' compensation works. And if you do have that claim experience, that's also great. Now, if you're not a claims person, you have no idea anything that I'm talking about right now, do not worry. I have other roles that I am going to go over that are way more entry level and do not require this type of background or experience. So make sure you are are locked in and you watch until the end so you can see each role and then you can apply for the ones that better fit you. In addition to that, check out my video from yesterday as well to see if that video better aligns with some of the job requirements that you're looking for and your experience. And make sure you are locked into the channel by subscribing to the channel, clicking that bell notification on and clicking all so you can be notified every single time I drop brand new videos and you don't miss out on a phenomenal role that will really pivot you in your career. We don't want you to miss out on anything and we want to help you get that lucrative quality remote work from home job, okay, that really does fit within your lifestyle. So make sure you are locked in. If you have not yet, click that subscribe button so you don't miss anything, all right? In addition to that, I do have something special for all of my entry-level people who are going into the remote work space and you're looking for something that's more entry level that doesn't require a whole lot of skill sets, but you can get into those roles and really be able to enhance your skills. I have a very free resource for you down in the description box and in the pinned comments. It is my remote pathways job title list, okay? It is a list of job titles that will help you quickly decipher what jobs are targeted towards entry level workers, okay? So as you're going through jobs, job listings, you can quickly identify the jobs that are specifically targeted for entry-level workers, and you can spend way more time applying to those specific jobs and not wasting a lot of time trying to go through a whole bunch of different job descriptions that may require way more experience than what you have currently. So make sure you get that guide. It's free game. I'm telling y'all, it is completely free tea and free game. So make sure you get it so it helps alleviate the stress of going through all of these jobs
jobs that may not be a great fit for you. And they can really help you hone in and target into jobs that are specifically for entry level workers. So make sure you get that in the description. Now, moving down, some of the license and certification that they have is a state adjusting license. If you don't have it, you can complete the licensing training and classes once you do get the job. They are looking for you to have three to five years of prior experience within workers' compensation claims. And then they do have a whole lot here just about your current knowledge, abilities, and skills, like having excellent customer service, understanding knowledge of insurance contracts, medical terminologies, workers' comp, also understanding legal liabilities and different lines of insurance because different lines of insurance are things like auto insurance that's a different line than homeowners insurance they're two different kinds of insurances and they cover two different lines of products right so that's what they mean by different lines of insurance now getting down more into the actual benefits for this role you will get the medical to dental division of life insurance short-term long-term disability coverage the paid time off with newly hired associates receiving up to 18 days. So that's just about a whole month of paid time off in your very first calendar year. You'll also get eight hours of lifetime paid time off. You'll get eight hours of a unity day of paid time off, a 401k with the company match. You'll also be eligible for the company paid pension plan. Pensions are phenomenal and a lot of companies are getting away from them. So whenever I see a company that still has as a pension, I'm like, y'all better get on it now, okay? They are really great retirement products, okay? They also do have a business casual attire culture here, so you don't have to get dressed up if you were going into the office at all and do anything, but of course, you'll be working straight from home. Now, getting down into what this job is paying, the national salary for this role is $58,000 up to $120,000, and then the expected salary is anywhere between $64,000 up to $96,000 annually. But as always, if you do have that good, good experience, negotiate your rate so you can get in those six figures, okay? And then come back and let me know about it in the comments, all right? So make sure you definitely negotiate your worth and negotiate that rate when you go into these interviews. Now, once again, if you're interested in this role and you do have that prior workers' compensation claims experience, this is the workers' compensation claim specialist number two role with Nationwide. Get over and apply, apply, apply. Now, getting over into the very next roles that I do have for you today, these opportunities is with a company called Ensemble Health Partners. They are a nationwide third-party provider that provides billing and revenue cycle services for hospitals, dental offices, physicians within the the health insurance space. What they basically do is they handle all of the billing aspects for these hospitals. They'll call, verify the insurances. They'll also do follow-up collections and a slew of other services for hospitals. So they don't really have to worry about hiring people to do it. They hire a third party who specializes in it, who they call kind of like the experts to make sure that their revenue management is really good and they continue to have revenue coming in. All right, so getting over into the very first role that I do have with Ensemble, this one is the HRTS analyst role. This is a nationwide remote role that is full-time. Here is the actual job ID for this specific role. And then getting down into more of the day-to-day -day of what you will be doing, this is a human resource role. So they are looking for you to be responsible for working within the workday system, which is basically like a payroll and an employee management system. You'll also be assisting in providing advice, guidance, support, and solutions regarding the utilization of the Workday system. You'll be developing custom reports. You'll be providing customer support in collaboration with the HR team. 
You'll also be using available online community resources and working with vendors to troubleshoot system errors. You'll be reviewing periodic service updates to various systems. You'll be developing testing plans and project plans for upgrades, new functionalities, and a slew of other responsibilities. So this role, though it is in the human resources department, you will be handling and doing a lot within the system. And you'll be managing that part of it, making sure the system is up to date, it's doing what it needs to do, and then working with different departments to make sure that their needs are met within the system. Now, what they are looking for for this role is a bachelor's degree in human resources or computer science or a related field. If you don't have those specific degrees or education, you can have equivalent work experience. So working within human resources or working within computer sciences or dealing with a whole bunch of platforms and software is also a plus for getting in the door for this job. Now, they do require that you have configured at least one module in Workday. They also are requesting advanced reporting within Workday. If you are passionate about technology and motivated to apply the latest innovations to streamline administrative work, okay? They're also looking for someone who's proactive and you can collaborate really well while communicating effectively. If you are a problem solver, that is also also a plus and if you do know how to manage multiple tasks at the same time simultaneously that's also great okay and then they do have some information here just about you know associate benefits what they offer retirement well-being programs health care your medical your dental your vision your pto time things of that nature and they get down into them being an equal opportunity employer now i did go and search to see kind of a ballpark of what this job was actually paying. And I did find on Glassdoor that this is basically kind of the range of the job. This is more so the $73,000 annually is more of the base standard for this role based on, of course, your actual experience and things like that. But it is still paying really, really well for it to be fully remote and pretty much within the computer science human resource space, okay? Now, once again, if you're interested Interested, this is the HRTS analyst role with Ensemble Health Partners. Getting over into the very next role that I do have with them, this is the customer service specialist role. Okay, here is the job ID for this one, and it is, of course, a nationwide company and role. Getting down into more of what you will be doing, you will be a frontline worker, you will be answering patient questions regarding their different statements, you'll be posting payments, you'll be setting up payment plans, you'll also also be researching and resolving some issues as you identify them when you're on the phone. You'll be reaching out to appropriate departments to resolve any issues that the patient has. You'll also be communicating patient balances, meeting collection goals, and you must also have knowledge of all areas of revenue cycle, okay? So that might be every area of a revenue cycle for a health insurance hospital, as an example, might be a person comes into the ER, a person comes into one of their specialty clinics or something like that. They're seen, they have a copay, they need lab work. Okay. So that's a couple different ways of money that needs to be collected and checked up on, right? So just understanding all of the cycling is great. Of course, they will train you once you do get in the room. Getting down into the employment qualifications, they are looking for one to two years of experience in the healthcare industry. You must have a minimum of a high school diploma or a GED and be able to get your CRCR certification within nine months of hire. The CRCR certification is a certified revenue cycle representative certification. And basically it is just a certification where you go through proper training to learn about the revenue cycle management process and understand how to identify the process and the techniques to enhance revenue cycles really well. Okay. So it's a method to the madness when it comes to definitely being able to recover all of the money possible for these big health institutions. Some of the other things that they're looking for is if you do have experience with physician and hospital operations, if you have prior compliance and provider relation experience, if you're great with customer service and or have a call center experience, that's a plus. If you are a critical thinker, really go to that next step and you do problem solve really, really well. That 
that is what they are looking for for this role. And you do get those same benefits like the health, the dental, the vision, financial assistance. You'll get the time off, the retirement, wellness programs, and a slew of other things. Now for this role, it is paying a little on the lower end, but as I always say, do not just look at the actual amount that you may be paid. Also look at what you're getting as a trade-off, which would be that invaluable experience that you could take in six months from now and go somewhere really, really great. So what I have found is that this job averages about twenty-six dollars to $34,000 annually. However, if you do have that experience that they are looking for, make sure you do negotiate a higher rate. So you could get fifty dollars to $60,000 annually. Definitely, if you do have that one to two year experience and you're great within the customer service, you have had some customer service specialist experience, definitely you can get way more money, all right? Moving into the very next role that I do have for you guys, this one is the scheduling specialist with Ensemble. All right, here is the actual job ID for this role. Getting down into more of what you will be doing, you'll be scheduling and pre-registering patients for appropriate procedures based on the physician's orders. You'll be selecting appropriate medical records for patient safety. You'll be providing proper patient instructions, obtaining and validating demographical and insurance information while providing really great customer service. You will be the point of contact with collections and financial counseling regarding any functions as appropriate. So moving on down, the requirement for this role is having at high school diploma, GED, or equivalent experience. They are looking for you to have a certified revenue cycle representative certificate within six months of you being hired. They will put you through the actual training and you'll just need to take the training and get that actual certificate. And basically that specific certificate is all about the proper ways and means of being able to make sure that you're managing revenue and you're looking at all aspects to bring money in the door as you can. Now for this role, the experience that they love, basically it's a plus if you do have it, is having one to three years of working experience, having two years of experience in a healthcare related position. Also having experience working with insurance companies and or pre-authorizations is a requirement. You will also need to have experience typing 35 words per minute and also being really great with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint and really having that customer service focused way about you. All right. Now, once again, this specific role is the scheduling specialist. I did take the liberty to just look and see kind of what the baseline is for this. It is more on the lower end if you are entry level with the $15.89 per hour, but on the high level, it is about $23.90. So this is not a bad place to definitely start if you are looking for something remote and you're more on the entry level fence and you're looking to get in and really get great training so you can take that experience and really soar in your career, this might be a great opening opportunity for you. Now, getting into the very next role that we do have, this one is the denials audit specialist role. It is fully remote, okay, nationwide. Here is the actual job ID for this role. And then getting down into more of what you'll be doing, you will be contacting and insurance companies to determine why a claim is unpaid. You'll be correcting the claim and resubmitting it in a timely manner to ensure that the insurance company makes payment on a claim. You'll also be identifying any trends within the denials to see why the insurance companies are denying it so that you can kind of reverse engineer it and see what maybe you need to apply initially so that it goes through and gets paid on the first try. You'll also be communicating with other departments to resolve any denial issues and submitting any appeals that are applicable, all right? For this role, they are asking for a high school diploma or a GED. If you do have an associate's degree, that is a plus. Whenever it says preferred, always remember it's a plus. You don't need it, all right? So it is preferred if you do have an associate's degree, but you don't need it. The minimum requirement, all they really care about is that you actually do have that high school diploma or GED. Now, certifications, they are looking 
for a certified revenue cycle representative certification that you can obtain within six months of being hired. Now, the minimum that they have here for experience for this role is two years of experience. It is strongly preferred, but once again, it is not a requirement. You don't need it to get the role. It's a plus on a plus if you have it, but you don't need it. Now, they also have here just being able to type 35 words per minute. And if you are experienced in physician and hospital operations, billing, AR follow-up, denials, appeals, compliance, those kinds of things, that is a plus. So if you are interested in this specific role, which is the denials audit specialist with Ensemble Health Partners, definitely get over and apply for this role as soon as possible. Y'all know these jobs go very quickly. If none of these jobs align with what you're looking for currently within your career journey, definitely hit me up in the comments and let me know where you are in your career currently. I love to know where you guys are currently and where you see yourself in a year from now, three years from now. That helps me also be able to provide the jobs that you're looking for and also provide you with different resources that will better help you get to that journey of where you want to be. So definitely help me help you by letting me know where you are currently and what you're looking for within your career in the future. In addition to that, make sure you do check out previous videos from this week to see if any of those job opportunities better align with what you're looking for currently. And make sure you are a part of the family here on YouTube by subscribing to the channel, clicking that bell notification on and clicking all so you can be notified every single time I drop a new video with brand new job opportunities so you don't miss out on a phenomenal job opportunity that would be a great fit for you literally just because you were not a part of the tribe and you didn't get notified of the video we don't want you to be getting these leads late at all right so i want you guys to be locked in so soon as i post you can get them i do post videos on a weekly basis so do not miss out make sure you are a part of the family in addition to that if you are entry level i have something super special just for my entry level people that you can find down in the description box as well as the pinned comments and that is my remote pathway job title list it is a basic list of job titles that are targeted for entry level workers that will help you hone in and direct your attention to jobs that are geared towards entry level workers so it can literally eliminate you spending a whole bunch of time going through a whole bunch of job leads that do not align with your background right and you being an entry level worker we don't want you guys wasting any time by going through overqualified job leads so i put this actual list together so it allows you and helps you hone in on jobs that are directly targeted towards entry level workers and people wanting to enter as entry level workers into the remote work from home space we are here to make sure that you guys find a lucrative quality work from home job so make sure you guys are locked in until next time i will see you very soon but make sure you continue to reach for those career goals and you continue to thrive on your career journey i will see you guys in the very next one bye <laughs>